Mammograms are an important part of yearly screenings and they help find breast cancer early when it's most treatable. Today we're focusing on answering some of the most common questions about mammograms. Joining me is Dr. Monica Agarwal. Dr. Agarwal, thank you so much for being here. You are a breast imaging radiologist at Wake Radiology UNC Rex and this is such a common question that a lot of people have. So tell us a, a little bit about the difference between a screening mammogram and a diagnostic mammogram. Sure, thanks so much for having me. Uh, a screening mammogram is what we do for women who have no symptoms of breast cancer. So you're not feeling a lump, you're not having any nipple discharge, you just come in for a regular screening mammogram and we take two views of each breast to help us detect breast cancer. A diagnostic mammogram is what we perform when you're having symptoms of breast cancer or, you, or you're just feeling something new in your breast, there's a change for you. So either you feel a new lump, you're having new nipple discharge, perhaps some breast pain or skin changes. When we do a diagnostic mammogram, in addition to reviewing our typical views, we also may take some extra pictures of the area that we're concerned about, and that just helps us further evaluate that area. We may also perform an ultrasound, which complements the mammogram and is an important part of um, a diagnostic workup. Okay, so this could potentially cause some concerns. People could be afraid to do this. What, would, what should women know if they are asked to return for a diagnostic mammogram, you know, after having a screening one? Yeah, it's actually, it's very stressful to be called back for a, a diagnostic mammogram. Most times that we call patients back, there is, uh, it ends up being nothing, but we obviously want to detect breast cancer early. That's the whole reason you get mammograms in the first place. And so if you get called back, it's important not to panic, but to make sure that you return for the extra pictures so that we can take a closer look at an area that we were concerned about on your screening mammogram. Sometimes after your first diagnostic mammogram, we may ask you to come back in six months instead of a year, just to keep an eye on an area that may not be breast cancer, but that we just wanna um, keep evaluating a little bit more closely than we would with a screening mammogram. Okay, well, you know, many women may be also confused about qualifying for a screening mammogram and how often they need to do them. So what is your advice on that? Yeah, most insurance companies cover uh, screening mammograms and the Wake Radiology follows uh, the American College of Radiology's recommendation, which is to start your screening mammograms at age 40 and get them every year. Some women with uh, a higher risk of breast cancer, perhaps a strong family history of breast cancer, they may qualify for mammograms earlier than age 40. Okay, well, that uh, brings a little bit of confidence to us so that you know we, we know it's possible. Um, and some, me some women may actually wonder if they don't have a family history of breast cancer or any symptoms. Do they really need a mammogram every year? Is that important? Uh, yes. Most women who are diagnosed with breast cancer do not have a family history or have a distant family history of breast cancer. Okay. So we do feel that it's important to get your mammogram every year. Uh, also, we know that breast cancer can develop over the course of a year. And so we want you to see you every year to make sure that there's not something developing. And then finally, sometimes the finding is subtle on one year, but then it shows up more clearly the next year. And the whole reason you get mammograms is to find breast cancer early and you want to find it early so that it's easily more easily treatable. And that's just one one way we can help do this. Are there other other tests that women should consider instead of or in addition to a screening mammogram? So mammograms are still the gold standard for detecting breast cancer early. They're not perfect, but they help us detect breast cancer before a woman may develop a, a, a palpable mass that she can feel. Uh, other tests that patients can undergo are screening breast ultrasounds and breast MRI. We typically recommend a breast MRI because it picks up uh, more breast cancers. Uh, with women that have a greater than 20% lifetime risk of breast cancer, we recommend that you get MRIs alternating with mammograms because, again, they show different information. Uh, some women who have a strong family history of breast cancer may want to start those MRIs earlier. For women who are average risk but just want additional screening, then abbreviated or fast MRIs may be something that we can use uh, to assist with breast cancer detection early. Okay, really good to know. So um, just one final question here. How easy is it to schedule a screening mammogram at Wake Radiology? If you just go to wakerad.com, you can schedule your screening mammogram there.
Perfect. Well, Dr. Agarwal, we appreciate you being here, helping us get a little more ease about all of these things. It's it's a very common thing that we have to go through and something that we shouldn't be afraid of. So uh, thank you for easing our concerns a little bit and being here today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.